Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Today is very exciting because as of this video being recorded, October 18th, 2019, the game is now fully launched, which means anybody can go and buy the game and play it and enjoy Lawn of Doom and enjoy everything else that's going on in this wonderful game. And along with it, we do have some Founders Pack rewards. So if you were part of the Founders Edition, you actually got some rewards today. Um, if you see, you've got a real I'm gonna look the other way face. Uh, from rocks, but as you can also see, we get the unicorn stuffy hat. That is so cool. Oh, I like that. And we also get 30 prize bulbs. Does he have an inventory? He does not. So that is crazy. It looks like we got ourselves a brand new unicorn hat for the, the chomper. I guess it's like unicorn chomper inspired. That's super awesome. If you don't know, the unicorn chomper was a exclusive variant only for max rank Garden Warfare 1 players in Garden Warfare 2. But look at this, the unicorn stuffy. That is so beautiful. It is not a legendary hat, but we'll still be showcasing it in today's episode. I, I was sort of hoping it was legendary, but look at how cute he is. He just sort of bobs his head around. He's so sprinkly. He's got like diamond teeth. And on top of that, like I said, we also got 30 uh, orbs or bulbs on top of the 15 I already had because I finally completed the 80s action hero challenges. That was good to finally get that done off camera. It just took me some extra time. But yeah, we'll be spending some of our uh, bulbs um, at the end of today's episode. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. But for right now, let us hop into the multiplayer portal and do some turf takeover to check out this hat and have some fun. Okay, so I see other people running around with it too. That's super cool. I can't wait to get started with this hat. I mean, I love the Unicorn Chomper, even though I wasn't very good with him. <laughs> but it's really cool to see that we do get some kind of Unicorn Chomper styled reward here in Battle for Neighborville. Of course, they really didn't give us any kind of uh, reward for being a max rank player in Guild Warfare 2. I personally never got the max rank Guild Warfare 2. Maybe at some point I will, that'd be cool. Uh, I'm a little close to the action here. I sort of forgot I was playing Chomper. Uh, I thought I was playing something a little bit more direct. Can I get you? Can I get you? Ah, uh, not quite. Oh, but he's running. I might still be able to get him. <laughs> he's really running. Okay, I'm gonna run back this way. Uh, there's actually not too many people on the point at the moment, so hopefully that means I can make this work pretty well. Uh, so far, so good. They're just not really doing anything about it. Okay, whoa. I mean, that was a uh, plant that threw that down, so I think we're safe. Yeah, they're like not touching this point. They're afraid of us right now. Okay, this is crazy. There we go. Land some range damage on her. Oh, one more hit would have done it. I got the assist though, so that's pretty good. Okay. This guy's trying to get me right now, but we're gonna go get him. But yeah, let me know if you have yourself this legend, not legendary, super rare unicorn chomper hat for uh, being a part of the Founders Edition. It's a pretty cool exclusive reward, of course, for supporting the game early. And I'm pretty happy with it. I sort of wish it was legendary. We could have some kind of effect when we get a vanquish, but unfortunately, it is not. That's okay though, we'll live. Let's try to stop this from happening. Because it would have been cool if this was my first legendary hat showcase. It wasn't quite, but that's fine. But it's still cool to be getting even more rewards all on top of our weekly rewards. We've been getting different uh, you know, skins and stuff and different customizations for being a part of the Founders Edition. We've already showcased one of them. We showcased the Fire Defender Snapdragon set. We still have the Knight Pea Shooter set and the Wrestling All-Star set that were both also from the Founders Edition that we'll be showcasing sooner or later. Okay, you know what? I'm getting over there. You're gonna try to run and I'm gonna try to catch up to you. <laughs> oh, you went right into the wall. Come on, come on, almost got him, almost got him. I know the 80s action here almost got me. <laughs> run, run, run. We got this, we got this. Oh my gosh, throw some of those down so if he tries to get around the corner to get me, I'll be safe. And, oh, he found me. Oh my gosh, how did he, me? How did he manage that? Okay, yikes. All right, well. I did what I could. Oh no, there was a chomper coming in to save me too. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, this hat's really cool. I like the sparkliness to it. And on top of that, I'm really happy about the 30 bulbs. That's gonna make it even easier for me to get through all of the challenges I have to get through. What are you doing? You're out of here. Um, all the challenges I gotta get through, of course, to complete the Lawn of Doom stuff. It's gonna be awesome to not have to worry about it as much. Of course, you know, there's still plenty of work to be done. But you know, it's slightly easier now, so that's great. Come on, can I get one more hit on the scientist? Oh, one hit away from getting him. I tried. I gotta stop playing Chomper that way. <laughs> it's not gonna work very well. Um, but yeah, now we can keep moving. But it doesn't seem like they plan on doing any kind of max rank in Garden Warfare 2 reward. 
like they did in Garden Warfare 2 for being max rank in Garden Warfare 1. You get the Unicorn Chopper. It doesn't look like they're going to be carrying that tradition forward in Battle for Neighborville, which to me, you know, I'm sort of relieved because I only have so much time in the day to play games, especially, you know, I've played over 400 episodes of, of Garden Warfare 2 and I still have so many characters to level up there if I wanted to master them all. I can't believe I didn't get you there. Let's use our different abilities maybe, would be helpful. Um, did you get caught in it? Not quite, but I still didn't get you. You were like one bite away. Somebody got you, so that's good. And we get a level up. That's cool. I don't know what level we are now, but we definitely got a level up. We're level four, nice. Okay, let's get back into the action, help our team push this a little bit farther. I'm definitely not playing Chomper too well today, but it has been a day or two since I've last played, so I'm a little rusty. Okay, getting him a little bit. The thing is, I can't outpower these guys, but I can at least put up a little bit of a fight. Try to get them to run away. And then when they start hiding, that's when I can close them the distance, right? When I least expect it. Thank you very much, I can get a taste of zombie. Oh no, uh, be careful this guy. He doesn't see me just yet. A good situation for me. And he's gone, okay. Well, let me revive the acorn, uh, too late, sorry. Okay, well I don't wanna have to deal with this, but I'm gonna have to. Yeah, let's catch up to him. He doesn't see me just yet, so this is my chance to snag him. Where is he? Okay, this did not work out the way I wanted it to. Come on, get him, get him, get him. You coward. Here, get over here, I'm just gonna close the distance and chomp him. There we go, see, was that so bad? Now let's push the payload. That's what I've been wanting to do, but it's, it's tough to do that when everybody's attacking all the time. I might have to go and get them. Oh man, you stunned me good there. I gotta hide for a second, but there's nowhere to hide. <laughs> Yikes. All right, well it's not going so bad. We're pushing the payload, we're getting a vanquish here and there. That's all I can really ask for. How are we doing in total right now? Six vanquishes, that's not too bad. I'm happy with that. For how short the game has been so far, I feel like we've been doing pretty good. But yeah, I cannot wait for the future of this game, of course. It's literally just the beginning. Even though this is the 53rd episode in the series, the game is only launching the same day I'm recording this episode. Like that's crazy to think about, you know? So there is still so, like quite the future for this game and I'm super duper excited for it. And hopefully you guys are too and you're along for the ride and everything. I know somebody's trying to get me. <laughs> I got a little caught up in that little duel I was having with that guy. I'm not playing Chomper how you're supposed to play Chomper. I gotta gotta fix my actions here. But that soldier did get taken out. We did get the vanquish for it. I am earning up experience for our next bulb along the way too. 10,000 left. I'm at 45 out of 50 bulbs I can hold at one time, so I just gotta make sure I start spending them. Some people were saying though that PopCap said that if you get everything, you know, in the Lawn of Doom event, and then you earn up more bulbs, they will transfer over to whatever next event happens. Which I think they've also confirmed that there is a new event next month, November. I can only imagine that'd be like Thanksgiving themed or something like that. So that'll be exciting to see. Uh, I'm gonna try to be careful here because I don't have much health to work with. But we're moving in. I would like to grab one of these electric slots because I think there was two of them or maybe it was an 80s action hero. Yes, it was. Okay, he doesn't see me just yet. And also, another thing I have to do, now that the game is available fully, I need to upgrade it to the um, Deluxe Edition. Okay, this guy doesn't see me, but his friends do, so I'm in trouble. Come on, get him, thank you. Boom, I got another Vanquish! Ah! <laughs> okay, I heard a ZPG, but a ZPG did not go off. Is there somebody else around me that maybe helped with that, I guess? Well, if there is, thank you. Come on, get him, got him. That was good, that was really good. And we get a prize bulb and need a reward for that. Okay, he's trying to beat me up, but I beat him up to a time six vanquish streak. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, who can I sneak up on here? There's a soldier right over this way. Thank you very much, sir. You're mine, time seven vanquish streak. Things are going well. Let's keep it that way. I don't see any zombies around right now, but there is most definitely some 80s action heroes over this way. Come on, one more hit on him. That's it, times eight, let's keep it going. Oh man, is there still a zombie up here? Did you guys chase him off? It looks like you guys got it handled, good job. I hear some action happening up this way, so I'm gonna preemptively get into this mode, sneak on over, and eat one of you guys. Can we get the double digits vanquish streak right now? Oh no, 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 run, 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 run. Ow, 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 swallow that zombie, and get out of here. <laughs> Come on, I'm at nine vanquish streak right now. Can we get to 10? I don't know, it really depends on who pops up where. Oh, I see him up there. 
But that's the best thing about this ability is that it sort of arcs. Okay. Also, does the hat make a special sound effect when I reload? That was a little weird. I don't know, it was weird. Like, it was just making some weird noises. Anyways. Let's see what I can do here. I'll dig. See if I can't catch up to this guy. Of course, he's going to try to hide from everybody, but he can't hide from everyone. There's our Vanquish streak times 10, but can we survive to tell the tale? Yes, we can. Okay, not bad. Going for a times 11 now, right? There we go, times 11. Not too bad. The only problem right now then, Okay, so he actually can't use abilities, but you know what, why even bother getting close up to him if I can just range him down? This is crazy, level six to cheap. This guy doesn't see me, but I see him, and that's all you need to vanquish. Okay, they're trying to get around this corner, but will they be able to? Good question. Oh no, will he walk into it or will he shoot it away? Hard to tell. Oh, we got a little bit of a, ah, uh, ding, 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 ding. Oh, ho, ho, he's so low on health. I want to get him. Somebody protect me. I think there was another chomper around here, but he's gone. So I got to run. I got to run. I got to go. Go, 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 go. I'm not really doing much to help the game mode, but I just keep on running into zombie after zombie. I can't help but try to go in for those vanquishes. I mean, as a chomper, that's probably a better idea anyways. And we can get rid of the shield a little bit. I can help out my fellow chomper by launching some of that stuff over so they can't really use their abilities as much. That's a times 15 vanquish streak. This might be one of my best ever. Like, that's crazy. And this started off like me not really playing that well. Okay, they're starting to realize what I'm doing over this way. <laughs> so throw out that poison a little bit. Uh, try to get a vanquish. Ow, oh, they are busting me up right now. Oh, I couldn't get away. I got caught on the side of the corner of that thing. That stinks. With how well I was going, it really stinks that it ended that way, but that's fine. That has to be one of my best vanquish streaks yet. But yeah, like I was saying before, there's a, uh, a lot of stuff coming up in this game, a lot of stuff coming up in this series. The, uh, there is the Deluxe Edition, which has a couple more costumes I plan on checking out. There's just so very much. I'm still working on completing all the story mode. I think next episode, I plan on doing the finale to the Town Center zombie missions. So that's going to be really exciting. Uh, we're still trying to hunt down um, Blight cap, I think it is. So that's gonna be fun. Really looking forward to it. But we got our first mission done with Chomper and his very beautiful unicorn Chomper hat. We'll go for another mission, see how that one goes. Hopefully that one goes just as well because this was great. We'll also see how much uh, coins and stuff we get. I'd imagine something good, right? For how much we contributed, I'd have to imagine. We definitely got like top vanquish streak. I'd be surprised if we didn't. But yeah, plans one across the board there, all four rounds. And let's see what's going on next in the uh, the tally up screen. Oh, look at that, we got Top Vanquisher, but we did not get Top Vanquisher streak. Well, actually, that's just not something that shows up on the top performers anymore. Oh, that's fine. Objective Master got 685. Oh, I should do a little dance while I still have the chance. Uh, no, wait, I did the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, well, smiley face is still good. It doesn't even tell you. Uh, I can go here and see, right? No, it doesn't tell you anywhere your Vanquish streaks anymore. That's crazy. But we got 11,000 coins, which is pretty good. And yeah, we'll just keep moving forward. So we're at the old cheese factory, meaning we are on the attack once more. That is very cool. Uh, we should tell everybody, of course, our classic line, stay together. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at this, he's got a dill, a dill pickle. A moat, a moat. That's what it's called, right, emotes? Yep, emotes. I don't have too many emotes. I'm adding to it though. Happy Lawn of Doom. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> Who loves cantaloupe? Let's get going. Ow, I immediately, oh, this was a mistake. <laughs> I should have thought about that for a second. Okay, that's fine. We'll try again in just a moment whenever it's done reloading. Up, oh, there we go. So I might want to be a little bit sneaky this time, create a little bit of a distance if they're still out there. Okay, well, it looks like most of them are cleared out for now. Uh, so you know what, if they're gonna be all silly, trying to push our spawn like that, might as well just go in to try to see if we can't get the point captured. Are there actually any zombies around here? There's an engineer over that way. Do I still capture the, oh, you're kidding me. Oh, I didn't even see you down there. <laughs> That's the problem about Nymph, is that you just can't see them until it's too late. Yikes. So far, this round isn't turning out very well, but the start of the last round wasn't really that fa fantastic either, and we still did really, really good, so let's see if we can't turn this around. Right now, uh, 
I, I might as well spawn some stuff and help out that way because we can overwhelm the zombie team that way. Our AI can start capturing the point and then we could worry about all those vanquishes. So I wanna try to go the long way around. That way maybe I could sneak up, get some vanquishes before they even know it and be able to start taking the point. What, really? How did he stun me? I don't know. I'm throwing some poison down. Oh, this imp doesn't even know he's in the middle of it, which means he cannot use any of his abilities. I know there's a couple of goats over this way too. Okay, dig, 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 dig. I'm in a bit of a situation, trying to avoid being in a situation. Okay, we're getting vanquishes from something. I don't really know. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh my gosh, I'm getting beat up. <laughs> there's too many engineers. That was weird. Cause I got a couple of vanquishes it seemed. Like how many am I up to now? Cause I think my uh, my little uh, spike weeds got him. I am up to level four. We just got level seven. Or I mean, I'm up to vanqu four vanquishes and we got to level seven. I was jumping a few steps in my sentence there. Come on, we gotta get back out there, help our team. Okay, so try to destroy this a little bit. And do what we can over here to start capturing this point. There really aren't too many zombies on at the moment. I don't know if they're trying to change that. Are there some behind us? I don't know, it seems like people are attacking from all directions. I don't see what they're going for. There we go. I put some more spike weeds out. I would love to revive that Citron. I don't know how well that's gonna work, especially we got Captain Deadbeard running around. Come on, come on. Oh, he's at like one health. This engineer's beating me up too. Where'd he go, where'd he go? He's going down. No, he's not. Gosh darn it. I played right into his trap. I should've went around the long way. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a tough round. They know what they're doing. Come on, we almost got this first point. Then things will start going better. Once again, I gotta go the long way around. It really does make for some positive differences most of the time, especially since they're trying to do the same thing. But they don't usually go all the way up here. They usually just stay on the low ground. So if we can have that upper advantage, that's great. And then I can get like over here, throw the smoke down, at least land a little bit of damage on him, but he's landing damage on me. And right now my aim is, uh, it could be better to say the least. Okay, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. No, I'm not, you're kidding me. How does he have two of these things? I'm guessing he has a teammate who also set up theirs. Oh man, this is tough. Like this is actually, they're taking advantage of the Chomper's weakness right now, which is that he can't really bust into situations like that. That's where we need uh, maybe like a pea shooter to throw in the chili bean bomb. That kind of stuff might be a little bit more helpful. But yeah, to everybody who is just now joining into the game, I would love to hear your thoughts on it so far. Hopefully you're enjoying it, having a lot of fun. I know a lot of people weren't able to get it during the Founders Edition, which is always a shame, but now you get to play it. Everybody can, so that's really cool. So, I got the poison cloud over that way. It is beating up that imp a little bit. I tried to finish him off, but I couldn't quite. Oh well, that's fine. I love how it does damage too. It doesn't just make it so that they're unable to do their abilities. Oh, you're at like one health. I did get the Vanquish though, so I'm glad that counted. Okay, who's over there? Who's asking for trouble? It's the Imp. The Imp with one health. Where are you gonna go, huh? Wait, how are you getting your health back? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, okay. We got the point, that's what matters. Well, let's rush to the next one. Maybe we can surprise the zombies by how fast we can get there. That'd be cool. Speedy Swiss, cheese is on the move, capture the pump station in the mines. Ooh, this is a tough point too. Well, let's help out, thank you. Okay, well, I got an easy vanquish. I don't know if I sort of stole that vanquish. I'm sorry if I did. Yeah, this is one of the toughest points in the game. Not just like on this map. I thought this is one of the toughest points in the entire game to actually capture. Okay, well, let's start spawning stuff in. Really make it a big rush. Uh. There we go. I don't see too many zombies around this way. Don't fall in the molten cheese. I always find a way to do that. Beat this guy up a little bit because he, he doesn't see me. Might as well get an easy assist. But then these guys show up and they're always the worst. Who is behind me? Because there's always somebody. He's gonna throw out his stun. I know he is. <laughs> He's an engineer. He's running. He's scared of me. Okay, you know what? But I threw down my sting cloud. Why did it go way over there? Thanks, game. Why would I want to throw it up in the air like that? I'm trying to throw it at the engineer. That was silly. Uh, Well, I guess I'm not getting that one. Oh, night capture, no, well he was. No, he's back. Thank you, buddy. 
Really appreciate it. Alrighty then. Uh, is there a thanks? Uh, I'm just gonna say, oh, there was a thanks, but I just said nice. Okay, that's good enough, right? Oh, you don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. Come on, come on, come on, but I threw down the stink cloud. You're kidding me. At least I got him. <laughs> oh my gosh, not cool. This nightcap has my back right now. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's get back in there. I appreciate the teamwork. Let's make a big difference. There's just so many engineers. Definitely work on the super brains first. Getting rid of the scout be go! <laughs> Nobody's reviving me from that one. Oh gosh, it was still worth it, I think, because the more people we can get rid of that are pounding on the point, the higher of a chance we can capture it, right? So, it's what I'm working on. This one just, it's really tough because the point is so huge, it can be really tough to capitalize. On a defensive position, it's great. But in every other situation, not so much. Okay, so for this one, get that over there. Okay, so I don't see too much else going on. Oh, definitely work on this. Before I even get near the point, I need to work on this sign. And it looks like it's destroyed now. So that's good. We're on the point and they are not, and we need to keep it that way. Right now, I don't see too many zombies. I see this guy way over there. I'm trying to land damage on him. Not really doing that good of a job, but if it's any kind of deterrent, then it's worth doing. And if I can set those up so that they try to get on this point, they get messed up, that'd be good. Because right now we're capturing, we're doing exactly what we need to do as a team. Nice, okay, we got him. Just jumping around, all wild. Okay, wait, is there somebody behind us? It looks like that, was that a Captain Deadbeard? No, no, okay, we're good, we're good. And boom, I can't believe it, good job team. We should've just rushed that and took it. Oh, get the go, get the go. Um, come on, come on, come on, we can get him. That's it. More stuff happening down this way. I'll get this revive. I don't know if this is a nightcap that was reviving me, but I'll try to just continue the favor and then I'll revive the other one. Uh, just like that. <laughs> Gotta share the love. Wait, it didn't work. Uh, what happened? I don't know, it might be broken, I'm sorry. Okay, well, let's keep moving. So now we're capturing the old fort, which is substantially easier, and a lot of uh, blind spots for the zombies for me to hide around and take advantage of and hopefully get some good vanquishes. Let's go over this way. Thank you very much. And, oh, neither of these two see me. So let's do that. I'm gonna dig because now they have no way to get away if they're in the stink cloud, or the stink cloud just gave up on life. I don't know, I thought the game was being a little silly today. Especially with the, all the sink clouds. Okay, get over this way, start chomping. Just start chomping for now, right now. That might just be the best thing I can do. Or not. Come on, really? He's right there. Right there, I'm getting you. No, I'm not. Oh my gosh, engineers are the worst. <laughs> they are the worst. Okay, get him over there. Oh no, <laughs> that's a problem. Don't you dare. You, you can't just walk in here, throw your barrel, and then expect just to walk out like nothing happened. I'm not gonna let that happen. Oh no, can I get you while you're in the barrel? You bet I can. Thank you for the free, free uh, chomp there. Delicious. Okay, there's more, there's always more. Oh, we got a vanquish there. Come on, keep at it, keep at it. Throw the sink cloud in, throw this stuff too. Is there a zombie behind me? There's not. We're trying to capture this point, but they keep capturing it back, but you don't see me capturing you in the chopper's mouth. Ow, oof, yikes. Oh yeah, this engineer right there. Really is that the engine, the uh, pea shooter's chili bean bomb is probably one of the best ways to get rid of that turret. It's because you can plop it down and then run away. There's nothing you can really do about it. You can't pick up the turret and move. Okay. Uh. So it looks like we're, we're struggling to capture this point for right now. The best thing I think I can do, of course, is going to be setting up more stuff to flood into there. Try to beat up some uh, some zombies. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. You get back here. I can't believe you. It's always the engineers. It's always and forever. Every engineer always has their stud at the ready. Even if none of them were like in my sight whatsoever. <laughs> there it is really good. They have a sixth sense of knowing when a chomper is trying to chomp a zombie. It's crazy. Okay, well let's get back out there. 
See what I can do. How many vanquishers? 19, so we're only competing for top vanquishers still. I don't think it's as dominant as it was last round, but that could still change. But definitely, this uh, zombie team knows what they are doing. Especially the engineers, like they're really having like an organized effort. Okay, this soldier's trying to run away. Finally, somebody noticed me. <laughs> Ow, ooh, ooh, yikes. Okay, what can I spawn in to help me out? <laughs> this guy doesn't see me again. Somebody got him. I got an assist for it, which I'm pretty happy for. So let's get on this point and get some vanquishes that way. I mean, right now, it's hard to tell who's on the point. Come on. I will go in there and start chomping, but I wanna make sure it's like the actual right time to do so. Because if not, I'm in trouble. I can't get him. <laughs> okay, well then I'll just, I'll hop up and I'll play the same game. Now you're poisoned and I got you and that's perfect. Okay, nobody see me for at least like another couple of seconds, okay? I just, I, I need to survive this. Dig, dig, dig. Chomp you, chomp you, chomp it. Thank you. Let's get this point, stay together, stay together. How are you just, you're just standing there. I don't think this guy realizes he's he's a goat and not vanquished. Oh, this engineer got here at some point, but we're all rushing in. Stay together. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's tough, that is really tough. Like I wanna sneak around and deal with them that way, but they're too prepared for it. This point's actually proving to be more difficult than I had anticipated. It's a little crazy. We can do it, like I, I know we can, we have it in us. Oh, hello, do you wanna give me a little bit of a speed boost or no? Okay, yeah, get rid of that parrot, that's for sure. I would love to toss that in there. I don't know, I think that actually got stopped by the shield, which is sort of a shame. Come on. I can get you, get the engineer, then get the electric slide. Come on, I gotta reload a little bit, which is unfortunate. Okay, well that was all very silly, but I got you. It's just they're pushing really far. They're being very aggressive on this point and it can be tough to do anything about it. I think that our team is dispersing too much. What do you know, we need to stay together. Okay, we have 35 seconds to capture this old fort. This is sorta of kinda of the last push, guys. So we gotta get in there, gotta get that win. Do everything it takes. I can't even, I don't even wanna take a second to spawn things in anymore. Because obviously it's not helping that much and we need to get on the point and contest it right now. Okay, so definitely throwing in a stink cloud like that, throwing a couple of those, start digging down. I gotta be able to chomp somebody or something, right? Okay, you, you, did that not work? Of course it didn't, that doesn't make any sense, but okay. Got you, <laughs> he was just sort of standing there. Uh, oh man, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. Throw down the stink cloud again. I need to dig, I need to dig. And if anybody gets on this point, like this goat, he's gonna get chomped. It's a chomped goat. Come on, we can get this. Stay together. Ow, I can't even see this engineer. I can't see anything. I mean, that's sort of by design, I suppose. It's what the uh, soldier is trying to accomplish, is making it so the plants can't see anything. And it's working well. And I think that might be it. Ah, uh, looks like it. That was still two intense rounds, one win, one loss. Still was able to contribute a lot as the chomper. And along with it, we were able to showcase this really cool hat, which is what I wanted, so I had fun. Hopefully you guys did too. But how many coins did we get? Did we get top performer, all that kind of stuff? I would love to see. I don't think we got like uh, objective master. Even though I tried, I don't think that's gonna work out. Uh, let's see. Oh no, actually we did not get top vanquisher. Uh, Surprise, surprise, it was an engineer. Those engineers are crazy. But I don't think we performed bad. I think we overall did pretty good. Uh, if we take a look at the scoreboard, we got 25 anchors, which was the best on our team at the least. And not too far behind top anchors at 28. We also got 14,800 coins, which is very awesome. So we're gonna go back to Giddy Park. So there was our look at the unicorn chomper hat for the chomper for being a part of the Founders Edition. Like I asked before, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. I think it's absolutely wonderful and adorable. But with that being said, we're not quite done. We wanna go ahead and spend the rest of our bulbs. We have 48 of them. So we can definitely get some Lawn of Doom rewards here. First off, down this way for seven bulbs, we can get the, uh, what are these? These are the Scare Bear Paul uh, electric slide skates. 
I think it looks pretty cool. At least the left skate is customizable. <laughs> I like it. So let's go ahead and get that one. Just like that. Moving over this way. Well, first off, there we go, Scarebar Paul. Then we have um, the eek gesture or uh, emote or whatever it's called. There we go. And then over here we have another emote. It's gonna be a little pumpkin. Pretty cool. And then we have a couple of things. I can either get that or this up here. I think that will, ooh, you know, if we go this way, we get ourselves a new rose costume. That'll be cool. So first off, let's get this. That is going to be the Mr. Robo victory slab. But more importantly to me, for 10 bulbs, we get a brand new rose costume set. It is the Doom Rose. Very cool looking, I love that one. And then over this way for three bulbs, we have some victory slab ornament things. They are the Boo Ghost Punchers. Okay, so we have 17 bulbs left. We still have quite a lot. We can get the ding dong gesture thing. Ding dong. Oh, I get it, like you're ringing the doorbell when you're trick-or-treating. We get a new pose for the Captain Deadbeard. This is the pose fail. <laughs> I guess he's supposed to be standing on a barrel but he falls over. So I guess, does he even have a barrel taunt in this game? Maybe he doesn't. Anyways, there is that, pose fail. I like it. Moving over this way for seven bulbs. This will be the last one we get today. It is the Count Warmula for the chomper. Another amazing hat. <laughs> I like this one. So we'll get this. I don't think that's a legendary, unfortunately. It's just a normal hat, uh, but it looks pretty cool. That's a. Pretty cool looking worm. So lots of fun in today's episode. Hopefully you guys had fun too. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plans vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Before you go, be sure to comment Unicorn Zebra, so now you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra Task viewer. Also subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.